How long does high food take? It takes about three to four hours. Okay, you sleep for three to four hours or have anesthesia for three to four hours. Um, it is through the transactor probe, it's one to two hour recovery. And after the procedure, most people feel well. They go, they go to the, um, the uh, they go home after the procedure, one to two hours after the procedure. The next day, they're basically up and about. That is what got me into high food. A couple of years ago, several years ago, I went to Puerto Vallarta because I'd heard about it. I went to visit it, saw, and by darn it, you see the patients that had treatment yesterday, you see them having breakfast down in the restaurant in the hotel, walking around like nothing ever happened to them. Okay, and this is after major surgery. <clears throat> in most cases, it's a one-time procedure. It's non-surgical, so there's no big incision. Uh, we make only one tiny incision. I'll talk to you about that if you want to. There's no radiation, and there is actually minimal or no blood loss during the procedure. Okay. Is it effective? Well, let's compare it to radical prostatectomy, reports of 98 to 76%. You see here the reports cryoablation, 92 to 60%. These are all different studies that have the numbers. And here's HIFU. HIFU is above the bar, you know, 92 to 97% effective. For